powerful radar instrument on the Cassini spacecraft has been peering through the thick, smoggy haze of Saturn's largest moon, Titan, since July of 2004. What radar has unearthed is beyond anything anyone expected. It's really surprising that this place is as much like Earth as it is. I mean, remember that we're talking about a place that is a lot further from the sun and that is a whole lot colder than it ever gets on Earth. We saw almost every process that's, that, that modifies the Earth on Titan. What we've seen in our four passes of Titan so far, more evidence of, of what we've called coastlines. We saw calderas with uh, things coming out of it like you'd see on a volcano on the Earth. Uh, we saw more sand dunes or dune type things than, than you can ever imagine. I think the thing that surprised us the most is how much of this, th this feature that we've been calling cat scratches. They go on for hundreds of miles, which is something that you don't see very often on Earth and that we don't see in any other planet. There are places uh, both in the California desert and the Sahara desert where we see long sections of dunes. Um, we know how dunes on Earth form. The question that we have is now how dunes on Titan might form. Titan's thick atmosphere makes it virtually impossible for any optical instrument to see through, but Cassini's radar instrument can pull back this curtain and see down to the surface. I think the best example of why a radar had to be on Cassini comes from looking out an airplane window. There'll be places where it's clear as a bell, but there are lots of places where it isn't. And the reasons are clouds, uh, nighttime, and just plain smog. If we hadn't had a radar on Cassini,